Kropreska is going to be the elder of the two by two years. Uh, both came in relatively close on weight, both the same exact height, but we're going to have a two-inch reach advantage for Shea Bauer. Bout number two is brought to you by Snap Fitness of Detroit Lakes. Science says you should feel great. Join Snap Nation today. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nicola Kaczperska. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Cheyenne Bowers. Oh baby, let's go. Nicola Kaspersa. Kasperska in the blue corner. She has got the black Hayabusa trunks on with the hybrid jiu-jitsu, black and red rash guard. And Che Bowers, obviously, in the black spandex with multiple sponsors on them and a black tank top. She's in the red corner. In terms of the undercard bouts, this is the one that I was the most excited for. Oh, yeah. I want to see somebody's O go today. It's going to be a heck of an event. Touch of gloves for both fighters. Che Bowers takes the center of the cage. Che, I think we can both agree she, her, her strength is grappling. It's your, your kind of Nick. It's kind of your classic matchup between grappler versus striker. Good catch on the push kick to an outside leg kick. This is Shea's butter. She's putting her right in the fence. She's going to look to take it to the mat and just wear her out. You got Che Bowers. This is kind of where she wanted to be, putting pressure on Nicola. Now, I misspoke earlier. Shea does have one loss on her record, but she is currently on a four-fight win streak. She hasn't been able to be stopped in those four fights. She's controlled the entire pace every time. Yeah, and you know, I think her biggest asset and strength is her ability to just kind of slow things down to her pace, you know, where she dictates, you know, where the fight goes. She's got to watch that oh, throw. Wow. She's got to have that position. Wow. Dude. And there's the underhooks. Again. <laughs> you know, that was a really good break from Nicola Kasperic. And I don't think she was expecting Che to be so aggressive following her. Here's the thing with Che. She does a ton of cardio. Track and cross country, you know, her bread and butter. So you have to assume her gas tank is always full. Well, she's an absolute animal. You can tell by her physique. And right now, this is where she wants to be. Kerpeska has to have an active guard right now. She's got to move. She's got to be working on getting back to guard. That's That, that way she can actually move. She can work. She can actually attack and, and try to get to a better position. So in our pre-fight interview, Nicola was saying that she's well aware that Che likes to kind of like steal the rounds. She's like, you know, she, she likes to get somebody on the ground and just steal the rounds. And, you know, her, her intent is not to let that happen. Good arm track. She's going to start to look for some hammer fists here. She's going to stay heavy across that wrist. This might be a setup for a far. Oh, no, she's got the legs trapped, so no far side arm bar. Nicola Kasperza, she's close to her corner. Josh Bulak. Good pass, good pass. Shouting instruction. And she's got kind of a cru cru crucifix position here. Now she's going to look to just land damage. Yeah, Jay Bowers, her, her strength, I think, is. Um, I think it's a little surprising to a lot of her opponents. Well, she's so big for this weight class. And she, she's it, on her way to 125. And she's well. pure muscle. Yeah. I mean, look at the physique that she has. We got a buck. We got to move right now. If you're on the bottom and you're Kerpeska, you've got to get moving. You know, Ker Kerpeska, Nicola, when they had that original brink against the cage, if she would have came with something spinning, she would have landed. I don't think she expected Shea to just follow her so intently. Right. Hands were down at the time that Shea was chasing in. Don't turn away from her, turn into her. Let's start to push down on the hips and get that guard back. Good knee slide pass. Full mount late in the round. Here comes the ground and pound. Into 10 her. seconds for the arm bar. Wow. She, I tell you what, she bowers. She made it out of the round by the skin of her teeth. Che Bowers really turned it up towards the end of that round, and she's, she's huffing and puffing like she went for a finish when she heard that 10-second mark. If you're going to take a, a chance or an opportunity, when you hear that, you know, the wood clack, it's probably the time to do it. And again, that's just her style. That's her bread and butter. She's, gonna, she's like a belt sender. She's going to take inches and inches off of you by grinding on you, and then when you don't want to be there anymore, she's going to try to tap you out. You know, both, both of these women refusing the stool. 
Now Bowers has a fantastic coach in her corner with Bruce Hoyer. He's produced multiple UFC fighters, uh, tremendous gym down there. I've actually physically been in there. It's a fantastic facility. So she's she's got great coaches in her corner. Yeah, Josh Bulak also, he's been around the Chicagoland area for the better of 20 years. He has seen his <laughs> He's seen many a good fighter come through his gym as well. Fantastic. Yeah, both like good gyms. Get Nicola. Nicola getting a little deep breaths in. Che looks to be ready to go. Touch gloves by both combatants. And we have started round two. I imagine to see much of the same thing on a Shea Bowers in the first round. She's going to look to put her against the side of the cage, try to get her to the ground. The thing with Shea Bowers, she pretty much tells you what you know what she's going to do, but you can't stop it. It's exactly. very difficult to stop. Ooh. Vera Ronda Rousey-esque with the yes. arm bar. You got Nicola leading with jabs and kicks, kind of just faints. I think she's just downloading data to kind of understand the movements of Che Bowers. Che tends to uh, switch her, her lead foot. Well, they're being very respectful of each other's uh, abilities. Kropeska doesn't want to get too deep in there. She doesn't want to get that takedown. There she is. And back on top again is Che Bauer. Let's start moving those hips, work to get that guard back. Nicola once again on the bottom. I think this is this is Che's world right here. 100%. Yeah, kind of slow things down a little bit. Pepper with shots. Wait for Nicola to yeah, maybe get a little bit sloppy or take a chance and grab a submission. Well, none of these shots are damaging shots. What they're doing is they're keeping Kapeska from thinking about what she wants to do from the bottom, how she's going to advance her position and not get uh, controlled on the bottom. These shots are just annoying more than anything. Yeah. Che, once again, positioning herself. She's in side control right now. Moving the body of Chris Kasperska. I wonder if she's going to start to look for maybe a north-south choke position, trapping that arm there. Slide the knee over. Oh, there, there we go. it comes. Che has got the her her knee on the belly of Kasperska. Oh, and there it is. Good full call, mount. Mike. Full Good mount. call for the full yeah. mount. I, I think that's just the frustrating part of fighting Che Bowers. Like, you know what she's going to do. 50 right. seconds left, and that is, I mean, it, Nicola is at least in her own corner. Earshot of her coach, Josh Bulak. Peppering punches from the top is Che Bowers. Now Nicola. we're turning it on. Now Nicola's, we're trying to stop this Nic fight. Nicola's going to have to move. Yeah, she's going to have to do something. Trapping the arm for the arm bar. She's going to look to walk that right leg over the head. We've got a rear naked here. Oh, wow. The, and and that is deep. tight. That is tight. Wow, there it is. And that is a tap by... Nikola Kasperska taps out to Che Bowers, moving. Che Bowers moving her record to, I think it's seven and one seven now. Seven and one. Wow, now. wow, wow. Textbook Shea Bowers. She came in, she wore you out, she beat you up on the ground, and then when you didn't want to be there, she tapped you out. And, you know, and if you look at Che, she really doesn't give you any time to breathe or catch your breath. They say pressure makes diamonds, and that's really all we see out of Che. She's got multiple Ignite FC belts. And she's on her way to 125, setting up a, uh, you know, a potential, you know, potential matches, you know, with, with several women within the Midwest. Well, this is a name to watch. She's on the come up, and if you don't know the name Shea Bauer, you will know it soon. Yeah, we're gonna send it to a ring announcer, Woody. We're gonna make this one official. But Shea Bauer's um, training almost full time. She said after this, she thinks she's got her finances almost set up to where she can do this full time and, you know, not have to worry about work. I think she's going to be a, a scary person to deal with if, if that, if that you, happens. You know, that's every aspiring mixed martial artist wants to train full time. Not many get the opportunity to, to do yeah, so, so. Absolutely. We're going to send this to our ring announcer, Woody, make this one official. Heck of a fight right there. In round number two, at two minutes and 42 seconds, submission by tap out, Cheyenne. Bowers. Yeah, excellent fight. Excellent fight between this, this, these two women. 